We saw and heard fireworks across Southern California overnight. Air 7 HD shot this video of the legal and illegal shows with firecrackers going off for hours. And now we're feeling its effects. A poor air quality advisory in effect until midnight. And Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell talked to the experts. He joins us live from Griffith Park. Josh. And even if you didn't see firework, fireworks this July 4th, you heard them and you certainly saw the smoke today. Every July 4th, fireworks light up Southern California, leaving July 5th looking like this. Poor air quality throughout the region. Leftover smoke that's visible in places like downtown Los Angeles. Not helped by the weather conditions. Particle pollution, metal, and air pollutants aren't always visible, but extremely harmful. This year, we did see concentrations that were fairly high as compared to the past 10 years or so. And not the highest, but uh, fairly high you know, in the top uh, highest years. Patients that have underlying asthma are flaring up uh, significantly higher today. You know, I'll, on a usual shift, I'll see maybe one or two. I've already seen five patients with asthma exacerbation where they get short of breath, they're wheezing, uh, and they feel horrible. Uh, it's real. And, and we're, we're coastal, uh, so I can only imagine what the Inland Empire is dealing with. Medical Director of St. Mary's Emergency Room in Long Beach, Ali Jamador, says the smoke from fireworks gets into the lungs, then the bloodstream, and it's not just high-risk groups who need to be careful with air this hazardous. Not only being indoors, but also avoiding uh, physical activity. People sometimes play golf or tennis, uh, any of these kind of activities during the daytime, and that really should be avoided for today and tomorrow at the very least. The South Coast Air Quality Management District recommends people stay indoors, close windows, and run their air conditioning. Also, operate air purifiers. If we don't see major wildfires this season, July 4th and July 5th could see the highest fine particle pollution levels this year. And the good news is that our air quality has improved throughout the day, and we could see normal levels by tonight. In Griffith Park, Josh Haskell, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Josh, thank you.